Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and Apple has just released the fourth beta of iOS 18.4 and this beta actually, even though it's way smaller than the other ones, it does change things a lot. Now we're going to talk all about that in a few minutes here. First of all, let's go ahead and just take a look at this beta and see what it brings new, what changes it actually does bring to iOS 18.4, which I have to remember you guys that it's actually an amazing amazing update. It does bring a ton of new features and changes to iOS 18, even though it doesn't bring the new Siri as we have been promised. But again, it looks like that will actually be pushed for iOS 19 and it won't be here with any of the updates of iOS 18. Now, first off, let's take a look at this update size. And as you can see right here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's, it is around 700 megabytes. That is, of course, way smaller than the previous ones, but it also doesn't bring that many changes and features. But again, it's a solid update. So as you can see, the iPhone 15 Pro Max updating here from iOS 18.4 beta 3 to the beta 4 it will be around 700 megabytes now the most interesting thing here with this update is the build number so let's go ahead and take a look at the build number of the fourth beta now with this build number right here starting with 22 e5232 and ending with an a there is a lot that has changed here. Now, we have actually been expecting Apple to release at least five betas of iOS 18.4, but it looks like this one will actually be the last beta of iOS 18.4. Now, as you know, when Apple releases like these updates ending with an A, that indicates that this is a last beta and I don't actually expect Apple to release another beta for iOS 18.4. Now, why I say that this will change everything regarding iOS 18.4 is that the expected release date for this update was actually the middle of April. Now, we have been expecting the 7th of April or the 4th, 14th of April actually to be the release dates of iOS 18.4 but it looks like that has changed. Now with this release and being the last beta, we will have to go another beta, of course, not a beta, but the RC version, and that will be most likely next week. So expect the RC version either on the 24th or the 25th of March. And then I'm expecting Apple to release iOS 18.4 to the public in a couple of weeks. Now, we have been told that it will be released in April, so I'm guessing it will be April 1st. If not, it will be March the 31st. So usually Apple with these big updates, usually they actually release them at the beginning of the week, but the 1st or the 2nd of April might be the most like dates that we will have this update released to the public and not middle of April. Of course, always taking a look at the build number of this beta and being the last beta released for iOS 18.4. So what has changed with this beta? Well, we have a few different changes here. First of all, let's head on right here under apps and let's go to Safari here. So when you go to Safari, if you go ahead and take a look here, you will have a new option. It is called show recent searches. Now I've shown you this before on iOS 18.4. We have now a new feature on Safari where when you go to the tab to search something or basically here at the top. So let me just show you guys that. So when you try to search something right here, if you have previously searched something, it will show you the history of what you have searched. And now with the fourth beta, you will actually have a button which will allow you to actually show that or not. So if you don't want to see your recent searches right there, you can now actually disable it. Now, another change here on the settings, which is really interesting, what Apple has done here is under accessibility. So when you go here and you go under touch, if you scroll down and go to back tab, you can see that an option here has been removed. So you probably know that Apple has added a banner, which basically shows you right here, like a notification when you back tap. So it just lets you know that it has detected a back tap. Well, that was a feature added with the first beta. And then they added an option here to enable or disable that, but now with the fourth beta, they have actually removed it completely. 
Now, another improvement here is on the setting search. So the setting search, you know, is awful. If you have ever tried it, if you have ever tried to find a setting that you needed, you probably won't be able to find it with iOS 18 and the search section on the settings app. It just doesn't work, but it has actually improved a lot with the fourth beta of iOS 18.4. So let's just go ahead and try something here. So you can see it does find a lot of settings and it does find most of the settings you're searching for, even though when you first start a search, it will show you that there are no like searches that have been found. But in a second here, it will populate the list and it will actually find the settings that you're looking for. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know if it's actually working properly on your device. Now, another change that you will notice, not that it's something new, but it actually had been removed. I don't know why Apple removed this, but now it's back, the screen recording on the Dynamic Island. It is back with iOS 18.4 Beta 4. I don't know for what reason that was removed because it's an amazing feature. It will have, of course, your controls, everything right here, but it had been removed and now it's made its way back to iOS 18.4 Beta 4. Now there have been also some other fixes and improvements. First of all, the notification center. I don't seem to have any notifications here, but a lot of people were not being able to actually show all they, their notifications. It would just show like a few of them at the beginning of the list and then not show the other ones that actually has been improved. And something else here, if you go to privacy, so if you go to privacy and security and you go to location services, if you just go right here to system services, improve location accuracy, what was actually disabled for a lot of users. It was just a bug that would actually disable this feature. Now it will actually work as it should. So these are some of the new fixes and changes that Apple has added to iOS 18.4 beta 4, even though of course there are not a lot, they have actually added a lot of new features and changes with the first couple of betas we have more than 50 new features on iOS 18.4. So that's of course really great for this update. And here we have also the Geekbench score for iOS 18.4 beta 4. This is of course on an iPhone 15 Pro Max and it has improved since beta 3. So now we have a single core score of 2,949 while the multi-core score is at 7,330. Not the best score ever that I got on iOS 18, but it's it's actually quite a solid score and the performance otherwise is actually quite stable. Taking a look here at the battery life, of course, this is for the third beta because we have to just like keep iOS 18.4 beta 4 for a few more days on the device here and see how it performs. But here are a few like performances that I got from the past days with the third beta. Right here, exactly 100% battery, eight hours, 53 minutes. Right here, 125% battery, nine hours, 30 minutes. And then again here about 120% battery, seven hours, 44 minutes. And today with the fourth beta, even though it's not something that we can judge before we have spent a few days with this beta, but again, around 70% battery, five hours and two minutes. And you have to keep in mind that this battery is at 91% battery health, which is actually quite solid. And we're still on beta. Hopefully it will also improve with the RC version and then the public release. So again, as far as the public release go, you can expect it to be released on the 1st of April, maybe the 2nd of April, based of course on this last beta and the build number ending with an A. And of course, expect the RC version to be released on the 24th of March for all the testers, of course, before it goes out to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.